Hey, what's up, guys? It's Apollo Uchiha here, and I'm back with a new short movie. And as you guys guessed from the title, it is going to be a funny one. And yeah, the name of this movie is What If Naruto Was Trained by the Top Chi Ninja? And yeah, guys, it is an unscripted movie as well. Now, before continuing this, if you haven't, then please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And yeah. Tell me what you think about what happened, you know, yesterday. <laughs> I mean, the face reveal video out of nowhere and all that. I know I did not do a good job in it. I ordered a camera. Don't worry, it's going to be much more clear and visible as well as a better angle of me to see my beautiful quote-unquote face. And <laughs> yeah, enough of that. Oh, I almost forgot. Shout out to my boy Kaiden Gonzalez for suggesting me this idea. Now... It does say top G, but I'm not gonna, you know, add Andrew Tate or any Tate brother into it. It's not that I hate them. I'm gonna be remaining completely neutral here. So yeah, a lot of war going on there. So I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> Enough of that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you do, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. And P.S. Don't mind. It's just a joke. I'm saying it again. If any of you find my joke offensive, I apologize in advance. I'm not gonna do any offensive jokes. I'm gonna try to prevent as much as I can, but it is a, you know, sensitive society nowadays. Little of the littlest things can offend people. So that is why I'm just putting it out there. It's just a joke. Now, without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins. After the QB attack, the next day in council chambers of Konoha Gakure no Sato. As we see that the civilian council, the elders, as well as the shinobi council were at each other's throat again, trying to determine with whom should the child go with. On one side, the civilian wanted full control over the child, for obvious reasons, because they will quote-unquote protect the child's integrity and his living being. And on the other side, it was the shinobi who were trying to take in the child <coughs> to marry off their daughters and get the money. And Hiruzen, he was quiet, deadly silent because he already had a plan to what to do. And basically his plan was moving towards them right now. As we see a figure walking inside the council chamber as every shinobi Konoichi guessed when they saw him. As he reached the door as one of the underground. Uh, not you again. My friend, open up the door right now. As the door opened. As suddenly the mafia music started to play, as in came Apollo Jiha, as Fugakuda said, What the fuck are you doing here? You were banished from the clan. Now listen to me, my friend. You and your brokey ass clan did not kick me out. You see, I am a top G ninja, and you just didn't meet my requirements. I tried to lift you up and make you into top Gs and all the stuff, blah, 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 but you didn't listen. So now, stop whining like a pussy and work hard. As he then turned towards Hiruzen, you called for me, saying that my only G, Minato, has died. <sighs> May his soul rest in peace? What about Kushina? She too. Hmm, a beautiful wild woman. Alas, so why did you call me then? For him. Hmm, who might he be? He's their son. And they wanted you to be the godfather. After Jiraiya, and he, you know, hmm. Well, he, my friend, is a loser and a brokey, so he wouldn't be able to take care of the child, right? Yes. <laughs> He's trying to get bitches and hoes, but that he cannot get. What a poor world he lives in. Well, anyway, I'll take him in and raise him like the top G raised himself. What the fuck do you mean you raise him? You'll just turn him into another one of you. What's the problem here? I don't see any. If he realizes the reality of the world way too much early, it is good for him, as much as it is good for me. It has done good for me, it will do good for him. What has it done to you? It has made you a pussy for your clan. As Yashicha sat down, he did not want to argue with this person. Listen to me very well, Apollo. This is a big mistake you're making. The clan, the clan can go and fuck itself, my friend, for all I care. You see, I'm the top G here, not you. You do not know any shit about shinobi culture and I have more than 2,000 ways to fuck you up literally right now. It's a pity that Mikoto chose you over me and that is why I am the victor. More like you blackmailed her you son of a bitch. Take that back. 
you take that back. Hmm. That is why she still writes me letters saying that how she misses me and my dick. Said Apollo as he shifted his sunglasses and took the baby. The mafia music still playing in the background. You, you pay for that, you know. Hmm. You know what? Fine. I'll make you all, guys all pay through him. The top G has decided and he will make you see what kind of mistake you have made by embarrassing him today with your presence. As Apollo left with the baby cradle, as everyone just sat down there as the door closed and the mafia music was heard going far, far away. Do you think that was the wise decision, Hiruzen? That was the only decision I could come up with. <laughs> I know that he is obnoxious and, well, quite annoying when he wants to be, but he has proven again and again that he really is the... Don't say it, said Donzo. Top G, I hate you, Hiruzen. So do I, but that was the best decision that I made right there. <laughs> ah, I love this self. When you what? Well, you know what? We hate you for this. Do you think I would give a fuck? Oh, look at that. Zero fucks given. As after that, all of them just crumbled while Apollo took Nard away. As his brother, Lee waited there. So, you got him, bro? Yes, I did, Lee. Hmm. So neither Minato or Kushina survived. He looks like a mixture of them. Yes, he does. So what are you going to do? Well, my friend, we are going to raise him to become the most annoying, obnoxious, as well as the creative ninja ever. Ho <laughs> ho You want to put Plan Alpha into motion? Said Lee as he was, well, rubbing his hands together and a mischievous smile. As Apollo smirked. Oh yeah. Let's go with that this time. As the mafia music boomed to life. Now we have a time skip. Time skip of 13 years. As it has been 13 years since Naruto was taken by Apollo and his brother Lee, never to be seen or heard again by Konoha. And we go towards Konoha's council again, as Jiraiya was literally there, yelling, You what? Why the hell did you contact me? I did. Tor said that you were busy peeping at the woman and said that every message we get, we receive should be go to draft if it was named after you. So, I realized that you were not responsible enough, so I had to contact the top G. He's not the top G, okay? Just because he gets some pussy doesn't mean that he's the top G. That's not the only thing that he gets, you know. I don't care. He has more shinobi skills than you and he has beaten you, Tsunade, as well as <laughs> Orochimaru. And I did not even train him. He was trained by himself, I know. He fought mount mountain lions and weird as he claims, but we all know that's a lie. And suddenly, from out of nowhere, a kunai landed, cutting his cheek. As Jiraiya was surprised by this, as with a puff of smoke, the top G arrived with his brother, and with a yellow flash arrived Naruto, 13 year old, as he looked at them. You, my friend, have made the biggest mistake of your life, said Naruto, after roasting my senseis. Do you wish not to live anymore? Sensei, can I castrate him? No, Naruto. Wait. It's been a long time, Jiraiya. You. Kid? What the hell has they put you through? Hmm, they have taught me many useful skills that I can, well, use for myself, to protect myself, and <laughs> something that you will was never able to achieve. What? Lay in bed with women. As Shiraya was getting enraged, you know what, kid? They made you annoying as hell. Heh, <laughs> so what? I like being me, and you, my friend, are a brokey as well. I'm 13, and I am a millionaire already. I have millions and millions of views in my bank account. Wait, what the fuck? How the hell did that happen? Said even Hiruzen. <laughs> well, you see, Broki Hokage, as Hiruzen's eyebrow twitched. My friend, that is a trade secret that I'm not willing to give. As they both face faulted, as Apollo and Lee laughed. Well, my friend Hiruzen, my job is done. I have a prodigy here that I can say is close to as me as my son would be. Now, my son. Go out there and give the world hell. You don't need to worry about that, Sensei. I'm already on it. As both Apollo and Lee disappeared. As on the other side, both the Kage and his student rose up. Wait, are they gone? Yes, they are. Now, tell me, Broki Hokage, where I can go? And how do I become a Genin? You have to pass the test. Oh, you have to pass the test. I did not ask you, you Broki secretary. I asked him. 
I'm not a brokey, you know. First of all, still putting brokey. What is your net worth? What color is your kunai? As both of them I twist. They taught you that, huh? Yes, they taught me. My kunais are golden, made out of gold and chakra metal. What are yours made of? Chakra metal? Ha! <laughs> that is why you're a brokey. As after that, both of their minds were, well, enraged out of their minds, but he was calmed himself. Well, Naruto, here's the location you can go there. Thanks, Brokey Kage. I'll be out of here. As Naruto was going out, he saw three people. Hmm. Brokey, you smell like one? Oh. Oh my god, my eyes. I have to wash them again. He said, looking at Danzo, as their jaws were hung. As after Naruto left, they came inside and closed the door with a frown on their face. That was Naruto, wasn't it? How did you... I've all written all over him. That is a student of Apollo, right there. Should have known. As after that, we see Naruto walking around the village, as women were literally giving him the looks. As Naruto looked at them and sighed, as he went towards none other than the academy. As he entered the academy, the teacher opened the door. Yes. <sighs> Open up, Broki Sensei. I'm here to learn. Oh, more like pass the test. I already learned from a top G sensei. Uh, are you a student of... Yeah, I can't believe my sensei is that much famous. Have you heard of him? Everyone knows about him. As after that, Naruto entered and sat down. He, for the whole day, did everything normally. But one thing bu bugged him out. More like two things. Ino and Sakura, who were literally everywhere around Sasuke. As he finally had enough. Listen to me, you bitches. I'm sorry, what? Yes, you're all over him. Why shouldn't I call you bitches? Listen to me, my friend. He said looking towards Sasuke. You have integrity. You have money. You have power because you belong to a clan, right? Hmm, from the looks of it, the Uchiha clan, like my sensei. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, the clan is no more. Hmm, I see. I'm sorry to hear that, my friend, but you have still the honor, the money, as well as the jutsu of the clans, right? As well as the dojutsu. Yes. And these women fawning over you. I don't give a crap about them. See? That's a top G mentality. Oh, come on, said Iruka. Can you stop, Naruto? <laughs> uh, listen, we heard enough of this. Shut up, Broki Sensei. And that is why you get zero hoes, as well as no girlfriend. And no house, you live on a rent house. And how much really do you have in your bank account? Uh... Thousands? How many? Th th three thousand? Hmm. You literally are the definition of Broki then. Aziruka now had a dark cloud over his head. You see, me, at the age of 13, have 8.3 million views in my bank account, as on the other side, Mizuki was foaming after hearing this from his mouth. And not only that, the most important question what color is your kunai? As Iruka started to foam as well. Chakra metal. Hmm. You see this? This is $18,000 kunai. Do dollars? Yes. But, 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 but aren't they like rich people's money? Yes, they are. You see, I, unlike you, me and my sensei have way over the horizons. For shinobi stuff, I do this for my own pleasure. And plus, being a shinobi allows you to go and live your life to the max. The thrill, the adventure, and everything. Putting your, putting your life on risk and all. But, said Beta Kiba, as Kiba got up, isn't that dangerous and why should we put ourselves on the line? Because to enjoy. Don't you want to enjoy? And why are you becoming a shinobi if you don't want to, well, put your life on the line? Uh, just to get hose? Ha! Simp! Naruto said, as after that he sat down. So listen to me, my friend. To me, you are the only logical person here, I see that have standards and somewhat of sigma male, well, tendencies. Stop looking and even ignoring hoes. Give them a straight answer that you, do not, you are not interested in them. And leave him alone, you bitches. It, I, I get it that you have money and all and everything, but you have no right to call us that. Tell me how. You're fawning over him. He has clearly zero interest in you. He doesn't want to do anything with you. And yet, all you do is ask, can we go on a date and this and this, blah, 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 blah. 
he given you zero answer. He gives zero fucks about you. As both of the girls started to cry. As on the other side, a girl was looking at him and blushing. I was not to look at, at her. And within a moment, he realized, oh, she's a simp. Oh, well, more the merrier, I guess. Naruto said, hmm, now you, my lady, what is your name? Uh, uh, Hinata, Hinata Yuga. Hmm, nice name for a beautiful girl. I'll see you soon, Naruto said with a wink. As after getting his headband and passing the test, he left. As the kids got their home, the first one was Shikamaru, as his mother and father was in the kitchen. So, how was the day, son? You became a shinobi? Yeah, I dread. It's such a drag. And this guy, guy came in, claiming that he's the top G shinobi, as both of them fidgeted. Uh, what? Was that a huge man with black hair? N no, he is not. He's actually a blonde hair kid. Oh, fuck me. Fukaku! I mean... Sh Shikaku. Uh, uh, sorry, hun. It's just that that kid was Minato's son. B you mean the fourth Hokage? Shh. It's a secret. I don't care if that top G has told your top G the secret, but that kid was born from Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki, two of our best friends. We tried to protect him, but Hokage-sama thought it must be better to give him the child to raise and that is how it turned out to be which is in my opinion well quite bad as on the other side Hiyashi wasn't happy as well of what Naruto has told his daughter because he heard from Neji who was witnessing this all scene and the commotion that was caused in the classroom was not accepted by the school as they were inside the council again and the clan heads were called there Hiruzen Sama with all due respect I was silent at your decision back then and look at the results. Even though I did not agree, look at the results just now. I can't believe he called my son a simp, said Tazumi. I get it that he wants a girl and all that stuff, but that doesn't make him a simp. Now, listen to me, my friends and um, creatures. He said, looking towards Tazumi, who was offended. I am a woman. Uh, I know you are, but do you have any tendencies of women? As she tried to come up with something but she couldn't determine anything. Now sat down you have your own charm, I was just joking and pulling your leg. As they all were surprised to see Naruto there. What are you doing here? This is a private aren't I not the Namikaze and Uzumaki clan head? I am supposed to be here. And so my friend here Sasuke. As Sasuke arrived outside. Yes. Even though we've just met, I kind of agree with him. He has spoken quite logical things and have given me a lot to think about. Oh, no, 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 said Danzo. Wait, Sasuke. He's trying to manipulate you. Oh, and you're not? Why don't you take off those bandages? Hmm? And let us see what is under that. As Danzo became quiet, deathly quiet, as everyone was watching this interaction. Or I can let my friend here talk for, you, for myself. What do you mean, your friend? As a clone appeared. It has red eyes with slits and orange hair. Hello, everyone. As all of them realized something, that was the QB no Yoko. Sub QB, sub Naruto. As promised, down the Shimura, right there. Naruto, what is going on? Everything will be explained, Broki Kage. Just sit down, and every Broki ass ninja should sit their asses down. You didn't say, okay, Konoichi's as well. Ah, fuck! Except Tsumi. As. The QB Naruto walked towards Danzo with the Mafia music arriving out of nowhere. How the fuck does that music come out of nowhere? Said Hiyashi Yuga. Heh. <laughs> That's the only reason you know that you're a top G. That you have your own Sigma music playing in the background. As QB ripped out the bandages from Danzo's arm. As what everyone saw was pure shock and horror written on their looks. It was an arm filled with Sharingans. Explain this, Donzo. Why do you have these? I can sense these from a mile away. I am quite surprised that you, Tsumi, claim that you are a sensor and your dog senses are quite, well, helpful in sensing the chakra. Then how come you not were able to sense this? I, I, I don't, I don't get it. He, he has been here since, since when? What do you think? Since Christmas? Nah, since the day Uchiha's died. This bastard has done this. 
I've investigated a lot of you, because I always like to know my enemy before I strike. We're not your enemy. Now trust me, my friend. I would like to know about my friends as well, because friends turns to traitor way sooner than you expect. And I will not take that chance. Even with you, Sasuke. If you want to stick by me and become the top G, as I am, you better watch your back. And trust only yourself. More than enough to share your deepest, darker secrets with only yourself and nobody else. And Sasuke nodded. Stop listening to him, said Hiyashi. He's going to turn him into the top G. Yes, I am. And as for you all, brokies, we are not brokies. We have more worth combined. Combined. And I'm single and 13. I'm just beginning my career. And I have more than all of you combined. And your whole budget of the year as the village that given that is given to you by the damn you. How the fuck do you know such stuff? I might have written some files that were kept. And he turned towards civilians now this time, looking at them suspiciously. Found out that your budget was 8 million Ryu per year and you received only 2 million Ryus. But, but, but how? How is that possible? As he looked towards the civilians again. Mind explaining or should I keep on continuing? You bastard, said Hiruzen. And we were here trying to figure out how the best we can manage in 2 million and within that 1 million Ryu went to you, you sick bastards. Listen, Hokage-sama, we can explain. We we had to, <laughs> had to, had to what? Buy many, many businesses around the whole elemental nations that I acquired from you through dealings. It was you. You're going by the A-T, right? Ah, yes. But why A-T? Just wanted to, well, name something. And I named it A-T Corporation. But why A-T, not Minato or Kushina's name? Well, I'm not a stupid. I don't want anyone to target me specifically because AT, the person AT is just a mysterious person who hasn't been known or anybody has seen him before. Well, Narda Uzumaki Namikaze has been seen again and again, who's just a millionaire brat. And that's their all is to it. And I still haven't gotten hold of my parents' money yet. And Jutsus, how about that? Think about it. How much top do I get after that? as they were now even more confused. As Naruto when left there, Danzo was dead, thanks to the QB Naruto who disappeared and everyone was foaming from their mouth as the top G music played in the background as Sasuke followed him. As after that, the next day came and everyone was scared of Naruto because of what happened last night. As they all, well, were placed in the same teams as in canon and their senses were as well, the same. As Kakashi arrived, later than usual. Now you my friend cannot be my sensei. I ain't following you. Because you're a brokey as well as a person who doesn't come on time. Uh, you see I had to blah 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 blah. Don't give me lame excuses. What if any one of us is dying? What will you do? Say that oh my knees got hurt so I can run? As Kashi was now offended by that. Now listen here kid. I don't know who you are or who. Whatever you are, I know who you are, Kakashi Harake. And it's quite funny that you say these words to me right now. Because, is this how you say a hello to your senses son that you haven't seen for the past 13 years? As Kakashi's eyes went, how, how did you, how, how, how did you, Naruto followed. I know everything. <laughs> I'm the top G, I have to know. And it wasn't that hard. It was written obviously when I see in the mirror. I am his son. As Kakashi was just shocked at this. Now listen here, you broke your team, and one student. We are go not going to do D-rank missions. We're going to go and do big boy missions. We're going to go and do the first C-rank. But I know Naruto-san, what do you want, Sakura? Shut up, your opinion doesn't matter. But, but I am a part of this team. No, you're only here because your mother, well, allowed you to be. The test in this shinobi system is just a joke. The test I have seen in Iwagakure, Kumogakure, as well as in Sunagakure are much, much more worse than us. How, how, how can you insult your own village? I have to. I'm not insulting it, I'm criticizing it because it, it's needed to be improved and because of people like you and corrupt people like your mother, who has sucked no matter how many people stick to get to that position, 
are the reason that our shinobi system is going down and one day it will cost us greatly. And Sakura was on the verge of tears. Hold on, Naruto, that's, don't you think that is too... Shut up, simp male. Now let us do what I have told you. And we will work as a team. I already know what the test you're going to place on us. Apollo Sensei has already told me. I asked Kakashi as I twitched. Kakashi never liked that person, but Obito, he adored him, and so did Rin. But why? He never understood that. As after that, we see that all of them were in Okage's office. So let me get this straight. He was inside. You want to do the first serial mission? Yup. Fine. Bring in Tazuna. Wait, what? Okage-sama? Roki sensei Shh. Let the older people talk. As Kakashi was just groaning and finally saw it. Well, he is corrupted. Should have taken care of him back then. And raised him. But no, I was just too much scared to take responsibility. Huh. It feels good, doesn't it? What do you mean, feels good? It feels awful. Same thing. As after that, Tazan arrived, half drunk. What? You want me, the top G, Shinobi, to bring this drunken ass, poverty, spooking ass, old man of a fart to his home when for what 2,000 ryus each nah here you go buddy Naruto said throwing 5,000 ryu on his face get yourself a local some shinobi to take care of this job I'm not doing this give me a real serial missions wait please I, I, I really need help hmm now you're here talking about something why did you lie to us first you know that this is a uh, right of ours to completely ignore you and just throw you out of this village because just what you have done might have started a war with your crusty ass village we need your help person named Gato you know Naruto is correct we should have thrown you out because you lied to us but since we are a village ruled by a will of fire we will help you out said Kakashi what us yes Naruto are you scared <laughs> scared now that, my friend, is a funny definition of me. All words are in my dictionary, except for scared, a pussy, as well as being called a chump. I'm not these words. And I'll prove it to you, my friend. While three of you rest your asses here and do the direct missions, I'm alone going there. Now that I cannot allow. Allowed, Naruto. We will allow that. Said Jiraiya. Now go. Hmm. Thanks. Old man. As after that, Naruto left with the old person next to him. You cannot allow this, Jiraiya-sama. I don't get it, Jiraiya. Who gave you the authority to say that? Let the kill learn the hard way that he needs help. I mean, Apollo has taught him, and he needs to know that he cannot work in this whole shinobi system alone. He's not the top G. I mean, Apollo might have made it alongside Lee somehow, but he's not Apollo or Lee. He's different. He's Naruto. Hmm. I guess you're right. It will be a lesson for him. Yeah, right? Sakura said, as Sasuke remained quiet. You all are a bunch of fools then. As we go towards Naruto. As Naruto, we see him was traveling at blinding speeds. Who has killed already the, well, demon brothers. As was he was moving towards the village, land of waves, when the sudden mist arrived. Hold on. Put on. Wind tornado jutsu. As the whole s smoke was now disappeared through a wind tornado as Abuza was seen on the other side as a sword was thrown at him as Naruto with a single hand grabbed the sword and with full force threw it back cutting straight through Zabuza in half <laughs> mess with the top G die a dirty death as a shinobi appeared completely covered like a Kiri hunter nin threw sand bonds at Naruto and Naruto with his futon shield blocked it all what she said on guard Hmm. You're a male, right? Yes. Uh, okay. No hard feelings then. As Naruto said. Wind claws. As Naruto smacked his fingers throughout the air in a cross like manner. As a gust of sharp claws like wind suddenly disappeared. They did not reach. It was the last thing the mass person said before being cut it into cube sized pieces. As Tazana then realized what kind of monster that he has hired. Now you see, my brokey client, what a top G can do. I couldn't do these words, uh, these tricks, or say doesn't couldn't have done these stuff with them because I would like to hide my true potential until it is needed. But being alone, I'm always on guard, even from you. 
as when they reached home, Narada saw how things were, and Inari as well. And he taught Inari some valuable lessons. From the next day onward, Inari was on the way to become a top G as well. As we go towards Naruto, who has gotten out that night after teaching Inari how to be the top G and was making his way with the mafia music now being blasted on out of nowhere towards God of Space. He just walked in, causing devastation left and right with jutsus, kunais and everything as he reached Gato, as he sat down in front of him as Gato was scared shitless. Are you the person named Gato? I yes kid. Now listen here, my friend. This is what we're going to do. Like civilized businessmen, you and me, one thing we make it clear. This is my territory now. And you don't set a foot here. Leave peacefully and everything will be solved. If you come back, you face me, you go down to the ground six feet under. End of the story. As even though Gato was intimidated, he said yes as Naruto got up and tried to leave, but he was soon stabbed, or tried to at least be stabbed by Gato. Ha! <laughs> this is what you as the person poofed away, as next thing Gato knew was a swirling sound as he turned behind to see Naruto with her sing on. Now see my friend, I told you, I won't give second chances. As Gato tried to scream, but Naruto grabbed his neck, which was shown as he thrust it down the sing on down his mouth, making his whole body explode. Duh, Jesus, you ruined my clothes. <sighs> Fine. As he made clones. Now boys, yes boss, gather everything that you can. And we're leaving back to the base. Hi, as everything was gathered from Gato's hideout and next morning everyone saw a blood covered Naruto walking towards them with everything. As the top G music played in the background again. Uh, how is that possible? Inari said, when you become, my friend, a top G, a music appears out of nowhere. As if the gods have blessed you with this. And as for everything else, you don't need to worry about Gato. Your village is safe and this village is now under the ANT Corporation's territory. As after that, Naruto began to leave at blinding speeds again. Now remember Inari, what I've taught you is essential. Keep that to your heart. I will, Naruto Sensei, I'll become a top G like you. As that is another story of another legend while we focus on Naruto. As he returned to witness that the tuning exams were nearing in. As he was walking inside, he saw that two women were walking. As one has lifted up Konohamaru, his other student. Sensei, help me out! Now, my friend, why don't you put down my student? And Konohamaru, how many times do I have to tell you that you have to fight your own wars? There's nobody there's who's going to help you. Yeah, you're right, boss. As Konohamaru then smacked his foot right in the nuts of one girl as well as the girl fell down who was wearing black clothes. Now ma'am, I'm sorry about that. He shouldn't knew he shouldn't knew about this stuff yet. I'm not a girl, you sicko. Oh, you're just uh brokey then. Brokey? A broke ass shinobi. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, but I'm not broke ass. I mean hmm, I see. Wait, you're you're Naruto is a Makina Mikaze, right? Hmm, so you do know about me. As suddenly, a girl with red clothes came there and hugged him. Hey, Naruto-kun. Ah, hey, Kurtsuchi. How have you been doing? I'm doing fine. So how's my top G doing? <laughs> my girl. I'm doing just fine. Now, woman, why don't you go and make me some ramen? As he slapped her ass, I'll be there in a sec. As both of them were literally blushing at that, that were in front of them. Now you, ma'am. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay away from my sister. I didn't hear any broken shinobi speaking. No, shut the fuck up. As Naruto turned to us. Why don't you like to join us? What? 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 Said Tamari. I didn't get your name. It's T T Tamari no Sabuko. Nice to meet you, beauty. I'll see you soon. Naruto said with a wink as he began to leave. Wait, said a voice as God appeared. Even though he was a maniac, he still has some respect for his siblings. And this person just disrespected both of them. You're going to die for what you have done. Garot tried to imitate him with Chicago's energy. Ah, Kyuubi, got your back. Now listen to me, my friend, said Naruto as he shook Gara's hand. Keep this to yourself and you as well, Bakatanaki. Don't mess with the top G's. You're nothing more than brokey-ass bottom feeders to us. Got it? 
If you came to me as a threat, I'll just tear you into a million bits like sand particles. Now I don't want to do that to my girlfriend's brother, but if you push me to it, I will. We have a deal, Naruto said, looking as much as intimidating and releasing his killer intent with QB eyes, looking towards Gara. As QB as much as imitating behind him, as the three of them were now scared. As Tomaji said, you're, yeah, I'm like him, but eight times more stronger, because I'm the Chinchuriki of the Nine Tails. As the mafia music boomed, as everyone was shook, as Naruto began to walk away. As Gara was literally foaming from his mouth. As he got up, and Shikaku, who was scared and was controlling him, woke up. He said, My friend, does that mean that I am his friend and he is my first friend? Yes, if you want to be. Naruto said, w Wait, what? Didn't you? Hmm. <laughs> A top G must keep his allies close and his enemies closer. And now, right, my friend, you from an enemy has turned into a friend, so I must see. That if I can trust you, I will not break your trust, I promise. We are planning an attack on the village. What? Why did you tell him that, Gara? Hmm. Now, my friend, if you haven't told me, we might have a problem, and I would have ended up killing my girlfriend or her brother. So, yeah, you two are safe. But you have to reveal everything to the Broki Kage. Broki Kage? Uh, you'll get it. As we go towards the council chamber, as after. Everything was revealed to them. Hirsuna said, I agree with everything you said, Naruto, and thank you three for telling me everything. You are under our protection now and under arrest, unfortunately. We will de deal with this matter as on our own. And as for you, Naruto, I would like to give you a prize. You are already becoming a Chunin. Huh, <laughs> told you. As after that, Hirsuna said, But I would like to ask you one thing. Why the fuck do you keep on calling me Broki Kage? Well, you're, how much is your net worth? My what? How much are you worth? Um, a god of shinobi? That is your title, bestowed to you by the people. Me? I'm called the top G for a reason. I have invested in many businesses outside of the shinobi system. And I have golden kunais, not like you. As well as, I am still worth more than millions of Ryus. What about you? I, I am only worth one million. See? You worked your whole ass life working a 9 to 5 job and this is how much you made. And I? Working as an entrepreneur has made too much. Uh, the shinobi gig I am doing is just for fun. Just to keep the parents legacy alive. I see. And we respect that. You know you should be placed in your CRA, said Mabuki Haruno, looking seductively as possible. And should also be added that I don't take bitches or no hoes who are after my money. The woman I choose will be chosen by me. And that is it, no matter how many I choose. And Top G has already one woman in her life in his life. That is Suchikage's granddaughter, Kurita Suchi, as all of them did a spit take. Wait, what? Your 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 girlfriend is you 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 all of you look like you have swollen something <clears throat> long and stiff. What wait, stop. We we didn't. Okay, tell us how, really. We we would like to know. We're so confused, said Hiruzen. You see? Brokikage, the thing is that when Top G was eight, he, alongside his sensei, the greatest Top G ever, went towards Iwagakure and straight out told them that I was the son of the Yellow Flash, and like him, I killed it. Killed what? In the bed. As all of them face faulted. You, you lost your. Yeah, I did. And thanks to the QB helping me out, I am <coughs> satisfied many women. As to Zunmi, weak dot of Sexton. I can smell your vagina leaking from here, Tsumi. Control yourself, woman. You'll get your needs fulfilled sooner or later. As the other males looked at her, as she blushed. What? I mean, he is kind of, you know, attractive. That is your friend's son. That makes you a cougar. Are you okay with that? I don't know. We don't care about that at our clan. Yeah. And jail is just a room with prison bars, said Inuichi. Shut up, Inamichi. Not like your daughter is fawning over him as well. Wait, what? Ah, I told that bitch to stop. My daughter is not a bitch. Yep, she's a bimbo and a gold digger who wants status, money, and all that stuff. 
There are decent women like Hinata Yuga. Stop saying my daughter's name. Tamari Nosabako. As well as Iwaga Chris Tuchikage's granddaughter, Kurt Suchi. Who look at the top chief for who he is, not because of his money. And that is why these three are going to be my queens. I will never marry my daughter off to you. You wrote down in a scroll that my father had for a long time that I found that both of our clans should marry our kids. So, time to fulfill that. You signed on it. And I, on behalf of my father, signed it as the next clan head. Well, it is a genuine document. Oh, for fuck's sake! Fine! You can have her. She's not that much great anyway. <laughs> now see, my friend, you even as her father don't see her potential, but I, as her husband, can see that. As after that, Naruto left. As that was what was needed to do. And after that, the whole Konoha crush plan was found out and Oto wasn't allowed to participate, as well as the other villagers made sure that this shit didn't happen. As this was going on, we go towards the Akatsuki. As currently, they were in hiding. Hiding from one person, more like two people, Lee and Apollo, because they have been hunting for them after finding out what their true purpose was, because they were the top G's obviously had to find out. I still can't believe that my uncle is hunting us down. Well my friends, you are not wrong. You see, Broki nephew, as well as all of you Broki as shinobis, the reason I'm here is because I want to hunt you down. and. Stop what you're trying to do, because this plant ass bitch here is trying to manipulate you. Now tell me my friend, why don't we sit down and have a talk first before we go to the punching and kicking? Hmm, sounds reasonable. Said pain because he knew fighting him would be a lost cause, they had to think and Apollo was willingly giving them the time they needed. So let me get straight to the point. Moon I plan, right? Yes. How will that work? Tell me. As Pain begin to tell how the plan will work. And this is how everyone will live peacefully. Under that cocoon, right? Yes. For how long? You don't have enough chakra to make the whole world run on complete cycle again and again, day in and day out. On that cycle with your chakra. Yes, I don't. You're right. That is the first fault of your plan, my friend. The next one. You might end up dying thanks to chakra exhaustion after many years or let's just say one month later what will happen to the people that are inside they will be stuck there there's no way to get them out right yes and those people and everyone else might die out there because of dehydration lack of food as well as being just trapped there because of suffocation oh we didn't thought of that as that student said but that is a special tree you see because it will bore fruit that Ah, I see where this is going. Hmm. You see, my friend, you are either hiding something or you're not completely telling us the truth. But either way, you are lying. As all of them now surrounded Zetsu. Why don't you see through his mind with that Rinnegan of yours? Hmm. Worth a shot, right? I mean, he was the one who told you the plan. As well as Matra. It wasn't Matra's will, was it? As... Zetsu was not cornered, and his memory was seen in the end. You bastard, said Pain. It was him. All of our lives were ruined because of him. It was him who did this all to us and the shinobi history from the past. We lost many stuff because of him. The people we turned out to be is because of him, and the plan that he so called is because to free his mother and end us all. It would have worked if it wasn't for you. Huh. You, my friend, and your mother can suck my dick for all I care. I mean, your mother can, not you. But, my friend, you never, ever mess with my family. I have loved one peoples in there that I still love and protect, such as Itachi over here. And that is the reason I followed you. To protect all of you idiots from mis making a mistake. It is up to you still. You follow this plan, there is nothing more than destruction at that end. If you kill him right now and go on your own way or do something good, as a group, I can allow that to happen. My, let's just say, prodigy has started in T and A or A and T Corporation. I forgot the name, but it is a huge corporation, as you know, right? Who has many businesses as well as many shinobi carriers all around the elemental nations controlling 
the villages from within, gaining and gaining more power, as well as the control over villages as we speak. Y yes, we, we know, we heard about that, said Kakazu. That is Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze, 13 year old child who was orphaned at young age and was taken under my wing at the time, as all their jaws hit the floor. You see, my friend, this is what it's like to be the top G. He has already won the world, but, but what about you? I run the secret organization. I am the base on the whole elemental issue stands on, and his businesses as well. I don't need any money. I have enough that if I start to burn millions of views as of this day, it will not end, even if the whole of you went extinct. As all of them were shocked. That is much how money I am. So, what are we going to do with him? Obviously, we have to kill him. Mother! Mother, please! Help! As the mother arrived, but a ball got up. Well, hello there. Why don't we go and enjoy ourselves and your son can become our son? Hmm. I'll give this a chance. Mother, you can't be. I mean, look at him. He's a good catch. My previous husband. He wasn't one. Hmm. I heard a fun thing. That aliens can revert their ages, right? Hmm. <laughs> You piqued my interest. You turn into a beautiful young lady. Well, what can I say? I'm a man of my word and a top G. As Kaguya and Apollo went on a date while everyone was just left shocked. Did he just took out the threat? World and the mean threat that we were talking about to a date? Said Payne. Uh, yes, he did. Damn, he really is the top G of stop G's. Yup, he is. So what are we going to do? Go to a and Corporation and work as their, well, you know, subordinates or start our own corporation. Our own corporation. This world needs more powers to hold, right? So, what are we going to do with him now? Kill him, obviously. As Zetsu was killed, and Toby dropped his mask, revealing Obito G. Obito? <sighs> All my life, I wanted Rin and everything else. But now I know that I was a simp. Simp for her, as she was a whore going after Kakashi. Fuck that! No more. I'm gonna become a top G as well. If that kid can become one, and such a big one, why can't I? Why can't you? We all can become that, if we work hard. So fellas, let us start the Akatsuki Corporation as well. As finally they heard their own gangster mafia music playing. You hear this? All of them nodded. We have our own music. That means we really are on our way to become top G's. As Itachi face pumped. I guess we are then. As we go towards Naruto, who has started ANT Corporation here as well, as he, as well as his sensei, as well as the Karski Corporation, was the only one who has taken hold of the five elemental nations and kept them tied together without any war. And they were the pillars of the elemental nations as well. There was no poverty. Everyone was a top G in their own life. Inari Konohamaru grew up to be like them. And Naruto married Kurtsuchi Timari as well as Hinata, as promised. And they were the most queens of a woman ever. Who were loyal to their man, would do anything he say, and had top G kids. Not Boruto or Borito, whatever his name was. As everything was done and good, the Karski didn't bother to come. And as everything was going on, we see them, that Otsusuki is watch, watching them from afar on a screen. Should we go? Fuck that, man. All of them are now Mafia Dons except for Shinobis and all that. We don't want to interfere with that stuff. Plus, his sensei is quite strong and, I mean, literally, I mean, look at poor Kaguya. She has eight kids now. And she is madly in love with him. And she's strongest all out of all of us, I mean. Do you want to mess with him and her? Nope. Then stay away from that world. That world is called now the Top G world. Stay away from it. As the world itself had a music around it now. The Mafia music. As suddenly, we see the whole TV was then bursted out in which the story was playing. As Andrew Tate came there. So, Brokies. You! You're the biggest one right there. Hey, 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 man, stop, stop! As he tried to get me, I dashed away. So, as I was running, I said to you guys, looking at the camera, this is where I'm going to be leaving this video off, guys. I hope you like this one. And if you do, then please leave a like. 
and subscribe to my channel. One like equals one prayer for me and for Naruto because the top G really is after us now as the mafia music of Andrew Tate begin to play. What color is your Bugatti, you brokey? Tell me now or else you'll get your ass whooped. As the mafia music intensified as Apollo was seen running away for his life from Andrew Tate. As this is the end of the story, this is Apollo Tiha and I'm signing out. Peace.